We are leaving Des Moines. Pancake day. Look at the size of it. We're gonna try to make 10 hours to a Cracker Barrel just outside of Memphis, Tennessee. Crossing the Mississippi. The mic fell off. Thank you, honey. Thank you very much. So now we got that strap better centered in the tire. Next stop, Vicksburg, Mississippi. So your great great grandfather was in the Civil War. Yes. Well, the Cracker Barrel here does allow overnight parking. I think they all do, yeah. but the Walmart across the street, sorry, do not. <laughs> We're going through Italy, Texas. Did not know Italy was in Texas. today and tomorrow and it's supposed to get worse tomorrow so I thought I'll go ahead and take all the screens off of What are you doing? Well it's supposed to rain tomorrow so I'm getting as much as I can done now so I'm not stuck in the rain doing all this. And we already put in our slides. There we go. Good old Midwest. Rain, rain and more rain. We are leaving Des Moines after about a month and a half, I think, of staying here. I can't tell you how many times I've driven this road to Des Moines when we used to live in southern Iowa. Many times. I know. I still remember when I was a little kid and my dad used to have to drive me from southern Iowa up to Des Moines to visit my mom. A bunch of RVs here. When you have pull-through sites like this, some of them you have to go around and come through because your hookups, like on ours, our hookups are on the driver's side. So let's say our site was here. We couldn't pull straight through here because the box and hookups are on, it would be on our right hand side. We're in this number up here, so we have to go in this way. Needed to know, because I might have had circle around to come in from the opposite way. So we're at our spot here, and uh, what I do is I use this little level and I put it on the floor. Since we've got a tiled floor, I stick it on the floor like that and I check it lengthways and I check it sideways. I get it pretty close right now the way we are. Got about, uh, about three and a quarter, three and a half inches of wood on each side of the front to get it as about as level as I can. They work fine, they're cheap to make and any of them ever split, easy to get more. What I do is I go to Home Depot and in the back of Home Depot they have what they call coal lumber and a lot of times they'll have like pieces of two by 10, you know, two by twelves, have them cut them up for you or take them yourself and cut them yourself. Got you a little 45 degree angle on one end so it gives your tires something to ramp up on and uh, and have uh, different lengths like have an 18, 16, 12, 10. We've heard people using the plastic for big coaches like this and they ended up cracking the plastic block especially for like jack pads. Got a lot of storms last night. Well, you can tell when you're coming back to the Midwest. We're gonna head into Centerville, Iowa today. Every year, the last Saturday of September is what they call Pancake Day. We grew up in Centerville, and um, ever since we were little kids, we used to look forward to Pancake Day. Big thing for Southern Iowa. Where are we going? Pancake Day. Walking and roaming the streets of our old hometown. In the Hardy's parking in lot. In the Hardy's <laughs> parking lot, just like old times. Yep. <laughs> I used to do that with friends, playing football on the square. <laughs> So Michelle had this bug that landed on her face. Yay. Right here. You know, on the and it made her think of like getting bit by a mosquito and whatever. And she has this anti-itch cream that she uses for that. So we're walking along going by people and she goes, Oh, I forgot that anti-itch cream. I thought that that didn't sound good. <laughs> I want nom nom nom. What's the size of it?
we're gonna stop in Vicksburg, Mississippi. The rain is actually almost here, if it's not already. We decided to go ahead and we're gonna put our slides in, just get that much closer, so mm -hmm. we're ready in the morning. Gonna get us some more water for our fresh tank, fill that up, because we're gonna have about uh, probably three to four days that we're gonna be uh, dry camping. Try to make 10 hours to a Cracker Barrel just outside of Memphis, Tennessee. Because the next day, which will be Sunday, we've got to drive less time so that we can make it to this national monument for the Civil War where Michelle's great great grandfather, his name is on one of the monuments for Iowa. And they close at 5 p.m. So we got to make up as much time today as we can so that Sunday we can get up early enough and still make it there for this tour. It's a, well, it's not a tour, it's, it's a drive-through. And uh, you see different monuments from uh, different states and it costs $20 to get in. So we wanna make the best of this time and, and definitely see Michelle's great, great grandfather's name. That's the storm we got going on. Hopefully we miss. If you know, as well as I do, how often women have to go to the restroom, you will love a motorhome. <laughs> right there, that makes it worth getting a motorhome. <laughs> you don't know how nice that is, not having to pull over every 15 minutes. Hi, honey. Like in a plane. Turbulence in a plane. Yeah. Do you like anything to eat? No. Um, right before, hopefully, before we get on the interstate up here, I'm going to pull over, check the straps, and use the restroom, and grab something to drink then. Just a okay. quick pick stop. Kind of like at the races. <laughs> <laughs> they sacked our quarterback? Or we no, sacked their quarterback. Okay. Our we don't have satellite TV, we just have an antenna. Of course, it's the bat wing antenna, so we can't utilize that when we're going down the road. But uh, Michelle found our favorite college football team playing on Facebook Live. So we're able to keep up with what's going on. And I hooked it up through Bluetooth to our sound bar, so since Brian can't really watch the video on Facebook, he can at least listen to it over the sound bar. <laughs> Bathroom door lock? Yes. Yes. All right. Shower door. We'll secured through. all the items. Awesome. Now shut the fridge off. Off of the off. LP. We gotta turn the LP off. LP off. Water heater off. <laughs> all right. 
Thank you, honey. Thank you very much. Oh, we didn't tell you guys. We're in Memphis, Tennessee. At the ever, ever so famous Walmart. Gotta walk around and check the rig out here and make sure everything's good. Make sure nobody messed with the anything. Sonny looks okay. Dilly looks okay. And Vinny looks okay. We gotta make a little better check here. Make sure the straps are all tight. Pins in. Might as well check, you always check and make sure there's your brake lines on your dolly are okay. Make sure there's no fluid leaking out. Straps getting tight. One thing I don't like is this strap is on the edge of the tire. It got moved over. So I'm gonna loosen this up and move it to the center of the tire. The strap should always be in the center of the tire. Okay. So now we got that strap better centered in the tire. supposed to get up in the low 90s today where we're heading to. We're heading to Vicksburg, Mississippi. We had to drive a little over 10 hours yesterday just so that we wouldn't have such a long drive today because the monument area only stays open until 5 p.m. and we've got about a four hour drive. Next stop, Vicksburg, Mississippi. Take ramp toward Mississippi 302 West, Horn Lake. So your great, great grandfather was a captain in the Civil War. Yeah, he was quite young. I didn't realize it until I was looking back through the paperwork. He was like in his 20s. Um, wow. And um, he was yeah. part of the Iowa 22nd Infantry. When they went to Mississippi, they had um, quite a few campaigns that they were involved in down there in 1863. Uh -huh. And he was, along with other top commanders or whatever, I don't know the jargon, but, um, <laughs> and in May of 1863, they started the siege against Vicksburg, the Iowa 22nd, and it lasted, I believe, until Vicksburg surrendered to Grant in July of 1863. Mm, and so his name, along with a few other commanders and such, are supposed to be on this monument in the Vicksburg National Military Park just to see it. That's interesting. He was injured in the war? Yeah, so he was injured either at that battle or shortly thereafter because he resigned in August, the very next month, from the Army and then lived as an invalid for the next 22 years until he died um, when he was only 48 years old. He married after the war, which I didn't realize that. He married in December of 1863. Hmm. So this is on the maternal side of my family. So my mom's 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 dad. <laughs> I'm kind of excited to see it. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. that well, it was Sunday morning and we could drop moment is that watch church live. Left to say Jesus yeah. gets an introduction like nobody else. <laughs> Jesus had some mic drop it's, uh, in his own ministry. The church we fell in love with about 10 years, ago, over 10, 10 years ago, over 10 years ago. Vicksburg had lunch. Brian's gonna disconnect the car so that we can drive over to the National Military Park. But it's actually just on the other side of the interstate. A little too far to walk. The monument area, the National Park, whatever yeah. is. A little long too, so need our car. This is when it would be nice to have a tow four down where you just disconnect the bar and go. Oh look at the entrance, it's kind of 
cool. You got a, they give you a map. Yeah, I'm trying to even figure out where we're at. Visitor Center, is that where we came in? Or yeah, is yep, right there on that road there by the Visitor Center. So, yep, that's where we're going right there. of this road was the Union's Trench. We've got a little ways to go before we even make it to the Iowa yeah. Monument. It's at the very at the end. <laughs> the very end. Another Ohio one. Iowa plaque for the 17th Infantry. Doesn't it kind of give you like an eerie feeling it also? Does. It really does. Knowing that so many people are... So many lives were taken. And it is the only real structure left from the actual wartime. So this was nicknamed the White House because the Illinois Infantry had the headquarters here.
monument up there for the 124th Infantry. This is the USS Cairo that was sunk a year earlier in this Yazoo River, I guess six months earlier. It was December of 1862. Vicksburg National Cemetery, where nearly 17,000 Union soldiers are buried, and almost 13,000 of them are unknown. Found him? Yep. A little choked up. That was so cool. That Finally. Was very cool. Long. And of course, the one we we're looking for was at the very, very end, like the last monument. Yeah. It's, yeah, that was so weird. So weird. The very, very end. To, uh, crackle barrel. Crackle barrel. Um, All right. Turn generator. Out. I don't know. We need to right now. For the air. Yes. The cracker barrel here does allow overnight parking. I think they all do. But the Walmart across the street. I'm sorry. <laughs> do not. <laughs> These spots are not long enough for the RV for us, so our last experience with uh, Cracker Barrel, we had to park along the back side there as well. And we got one more RV here. I think even they were in kind of the same situation, a little bit too long when you're towing. Look at the dog in the front seat, <laughs> big German Shepherd. <laughs> ready to go get your barrel on? I'm ready to get my barrel on, I'm so hungry. All right, we are officially Cracker Docking. Yeah. 
We both got our barrel on. <laughs> All right, I'm exaggerating a little bit. Full. A little bit. I'm full. Getting ready to take off here from Cracker Barrel in Shreveport, Louisiana. Just making some uh, last rounds here. Just checking to make sure the shower door is locked and all the, the cabinet doors are locked shut. So we're good. And uh, today is on a Monday. Michelle has to work. So she's going to take her laptop and work while we're driving. About ready, sweet? Yep. Just get the power cord. I'll wait till you're ready there and then we'll get going. I went outside, I checked around the rig, around the car. Um, Vinny, Sunny, and Dilly are all okay. So we're, we should be set to go. Good on fuel still. We had to run the generator last night. It was a little warm. It got 92 yesterday. So I think it only got down to around 80 and we tried to go without the air conditioner running but it got 85 inside even though it was 80 outside went up and kicked on the generator and turned the acs on and, and slept like a baby after that <laughs> all right i'm gonna quit talking and we are gonna take off Your internet the whole way so far it's been good oh, that's good just fueled up here and i'm actually not sure what town we're in at a place called dukes <laughs> stopped in the dukes travel center in taco casa and grabbed a couple tacos just for a little something to tie us over and this is in canton texas if you're coming through texas and you go through canton texas uh dukes travel oh, plaza I-20. Yeah, and the uh, cheapest diesel that we've seen so far for two fifty nine. dollars Not bad. Yeah. Ready to hit the road? Yeah. Italy, Texas. Did not know Italy was in Texas. Did you? I did not. Italy is in Texas. Flight onto North Francis Street. Which is also <laughs> Texas 22 West. So now it's got us on 22 West. Right in the t middle of the town of Hillsboro, right? Yes. It'll be right in the middle of the downtown area of Hillsboro, the downtown area. Turn right. My God, the streets are horrible. We are getting beat up. That was bad. The streets were just absolutely horrible through there. Now we're leaving Hillsboro. How are you coming along with work? Plugging away. Yeah, good. Internet's been good the whole way? Oh, yeah. Cool. Looks like it's taking us out in the boonies. All right, we have entered the town of Whitney. FM 933. We'll be coming into town here, and we veer off to the right, yeah. right here. And here's our turn to the left. 
Whoa, look what's across the street. An ice Woo. cream shop. <laughs> oh, great. We're well, trying to stay It looks like right it's now. open Saturday and Sunday. Ride it down the trail drive. Or maybe we'll be gone on Saturday and Sundays. This looks kind of ranchy. Ranchy? Well, that's better than raunchy. Let's <laughs> call it a day.